Tsunumbu's human philosophy to me is about gaslighting Nigerians. As old as I am, I've searched in Nigeria who is the best person to govern this nation. I've never seen anyone beyond that bit. The alleged Tinubu built Lagos statement. What did he build? There was Michael Otedola, there was Baba Mawa. Like those people, didn't they do anything? There's no hardship in Nigeria. We are going through difficulties. Yes. Yes. No pain, no gains. How can you have gains when you don't want to go through pains? Those who support Tinubu claim to be wise, but they end up sounding unwise. We are talking about protests, how to make our nation better. Yorubas have come up with their own protests that it will be Igbo must go. A presidential candidate, which everybody has respect for, and the first press conference it would make is that Yoruba lo come. Yoruba lo come. Yoruba to de konye. He has the sagacity politically to say that. Nobody can say that behind the behind the If we are so highly tribalistic, mm. the presidential candidate of APC in Lagos State lost his base to an Igbo man. They did it on papers. Nigerians generally, they think protest is synonymous to violence. Protest is different from dialogue. Protest is violence. We need insensible dialogue. Protest is dialogue. Me appealing to our president, he should make life easy for we, the citizens. Here are the prompts we'll be discussing on today's episode. Please signify if you agree with the prompt. I voted for President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. Basically, I voted for President um, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu during this election. And there are facts and figures to back, uh, to back my claim. President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu was a governor for a good eight years. He built and he laid down a foundation which made um, uh, Governor Fashala succeed. This same foundation made Governor Ambody succeed. And we are also witnessing another success in the name of the foreign governor, Sonwo Olu. You can't just say Tinumbu, Tinumbu is trying to lay down a foundation which President, uh, former President Muhammadu Buhari failed woefully. I'm a cat carrying member, but the Buhari administration actually put us or led us to the mess we are in currently. My name is um, Tavidin Toyi Bishala, a realtor, a banker. Yeah, I've been into politics for about eight to nine years now. I'm a strong believer in a better future for Nigeria. So basically, I feel President um, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu is one to take Nigeria forward. The potentials, um, the zeal, and the commitment, he has all these qualities to take us way forward. As old as I am, I've searched in Nigeria who is the best Democrat and the best person to govern this nation. I've never seen anyone beyond Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. This is the man who came to Lagos. He started as a senator in the west part of Lagos, Lagos State. And he stood for democracy when the military took over this country. He never relented and he continued to fight until we get our democracy. He doesn't join governance like a bandwagon. He will collapse the system and then jig a new system. We have 20 local government in Lagos State. Today, Tinumbu created additional LCDA for development in Lagos State. This is the man who thinks this system of governance is different from the one we are following bad wagons. Tunumbu rejig economy of Lagos State from 600 million to 2.5 billion in a year. Before Tunumbu finished at the end of eight years, Lagos is now any 18 billion naira internally generated revenue. That is what I see in the man. The man is not thinking the way Nigeria will go down, but Lagos State will go up. No pain, no gains. How can you have no, how can you have gain when you don't want to go through pains? The, what you are going through now is not hardship, but a difficulty in governance. During Jonathan regime, almost 23 states cannot pay full salary. During Buhari regime, some people started to pay salaries like a half salary, one two third salary, and everything salary. All those mess up in the states, in the entire nation. But when Zinubu came, he knew where to get the money. He knew where to get the fund. He knew the money is in the hands of individuals. The nation is very poor, while the individuals are very rich. He now collapsed all their system and then puts it in the government. In government. Today, government of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Federal Republic of Nigeria earned trillions for the first time in Nigeria 
why we move from 600 billion generated from the nation, we now go to now trillion, trillion, trillion. I think from there, we are choosing up. My name is Adisa Taiwo Ramon. I am a retired civil servant from Nigeria Power Authority and also a politician. The president I met Tinubu that I know from uh, Lagos State when he was a senator, he never relented. He kept fighting for democracy in Nigeria, in Africa, and the world. He will collapse the system and bring every governance area that is moribund, he will bring them to life. This is the man that I root for, and that's President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Why I voted President Bola Ahmed Tinubu in 2023, or let me say late 2022, I laid my hands on the manifesto. I read President Tinubu's manifesto. I read that of Peter Obi, and I read that of Atiku. Sincerely, I was convinced that what this bat has in his manifesto, if it's um, implemented, it is definitely going to take the bull by the horn. What we are facing now is some of the challenges that normally we should face when critical decisions like these are taken. I mean, nowhere in the world where subsidy of this nature will be removed without some facing policy. some challenges. And as a responsible government, the, the, the onus is on the person at the ends to ensure that they do some things, they bring some policies. Of course, you can, you can, you can say some of the policies are not working, but you cannot just wake up one day and see the policies working. The guy needs time. As far as I'm concerned, I believe the president, being at the ends of affairs, will not sit down and allow things to get worse. They are definitely working to make sure that we go out of this face that we find ourselves. So I'm convinced, these are the points that made me to be convinced that I voted the man, and I'm happy I voted him. Can the disagreeers now speak? To the probat, do you know this statement like, I get them before, no be property? You people keep repeating what Tinibu did for Lagos. We are not talking about Lagos now. We are talking about Nigeria. In our constitution, I think um, session, maybe session 39, if I'm not mistaken, you talk about standard of living. It's the government duty to provide standard of living for its citizen. I want to ask you a question. Do you have any standard? Like, are you living up to standard in this current regime? Most people can't even feed, like, three times in a day. Those who support Sinibu claim to be wise, but they end up sounding unwise. I'm not oh. trying to be biased or sentimental Yeah, right? You said something okay. that um, since Sinibu became the president, we have been earning trillions of Naira. I was right. How have that trillions of Naira benefited you? You guys keep watching the news. Akbabio, our Senate president, every time he keep mentioning figures, they will tell you they spend 100 million for fuel, they spend 100 billion for this, 100 billion for that, 100 billion. How have it benefited you guys, the citizen, especially the probat? What have you benefited? Can you feed three times in a day? I have been living in this country when I was born in 1961. I have never secured the square meal since I was born. And nobody, until you become that rich, if I'm not a dangote child, that you can say that a three square meal will be secured. It I is, used to eat I'm gone meal. now, please. In Islam, we were given this kind of a adage language. Cut your stomach into three, eat small, drink small, and let air breathe in your stomach. My name is Dominic Chamaka Great Oyelere. Um, I'm a YouTuber. I don't support the Tinibo administration. To me, I feel he's not capable of leading Nigeria. Tinibu's, uh administration or Tinubu's human philosophy to me is about gaslighting Nigerians. Huh. Oh. Because he knows Nigeria, Nigerians will take anything thrown to them. Yes. Let's start from the beginning. When Tinubu was senator, I think 1993 to 1997 or so, the U.S. indicted him in 1997 for, for allegedly a drug. This is, he said he had, he had 1.8 million dollars in an account. The US collected $460,000 from it. How did he get the money? He said he, he was an accountant for De Deloitte. He said he was an accountant doing, I think, 1983. In 1983, 
the average salary of a U.S. Uh, worker was about maybe $24,000. It said he earned $1.8 million. 2024 today, the CEO of Deloitte, on an annual base, earns $450 or $460K. Now, imagine 19-something. How did he get that rich? He came back to Nigeria, became a senator. Later went on to become a governor. You mentioned something about him generating IGR from six, from six something to 18, to 18. So most of his, most of Tinubu's policy are always about tax. He's yes. even, yes. even said it during the presidential campaign that we'll tax, we'll widen the tax uh, bracket or something. That is going to tax. So the Agbero, these people, these Agbero people that come and collect, that was Tinubu's idea, number yes. one. Import duties, uh, what was it called? Of Tinkan, Apapa Tinkan. Uh, toll gate, lucky toll gate was one. Like those were the ways he was generating that 18 trillion that you believed he was generating. But what was he doing with those money? Funniest part is Lagos was the former capital of Nigeria. Yeah. Lovely. It has one of the most functioning ports. Mm -hmm. You won't expect a, a place like anywhere, any other landlocked state to generate as much as somewhere where there's a port. On a normal level, Lagos is meant to generate what it is meant to generate. It's the alleged Tinubu built Lagos statement. What did he build? There was, there was Michael, there was Michael Otedola, the former Lagos state governor. There was Baba Mawa. Like those people, didn't they do anything? Did, did Tinubu meet anything on ground? Exactly. Tinubu gaslighted, he gaslighted negotiants oh. to think that generating money means doing. Oh. He wasn't actually doing anything. My name is Dami Lola Bakare. I am a builder, a brand designer, and a brand manager. I'm not, I'm not sorry to say that. He's actually a gaslighter. I've noticed the pattern. He was governor to about 2007. He has removed the element of democracy, of having people vote for who they want. It has always been his people, from Fashola to Ambode to... So that's why they, they were calling him the master strategist. He always has a way of making sure his people that he wants are in those places. And then after he became president, the whole wiki situation, because that one, I don't know, allegedly rigged election for him, puts that one in place, FCT minister. So he has all these tactics. To be fair, I was unable to vote due to certain reasons, okay? Um, but however, even if I had voted, I wouldn't have voted for Tinobu. Um, explicitly for the main reason that we saw the a catchphrase that came up when he was campaigning, which was Emilokon. I mean, that's not a reason why you run for, for office. He doesn't really have the interest of the country. Uh, that was my forecast. And we can see this playing out, right? This is just one year into his, into his tenure. A lot of multinationals have left. We, at, least, at the very least, five major multinational companies have left. I work for a and multinational so company, so my job is at risk. Because what? since he, he took office uh, last year, the Naira to the dollar exchange rate has almost tripled. Tripled. That's terrible. Two months ago, Nigeria recorded the largest inflation rate we've ever seen in 28 years. And this is just one year in office. He's expected to go for four years and possibly even, even recontest. So the, this, this is a disaster, it's a brewing disaster. I saw a lot of this coming and that's why I didn't even consider him as a candidate or candidate of choice. And it turns out I was right. If you sign your CV or you produce your CV and you send it to a company that you want to you know, get a job, they will ask you your experience. The experience is what me vote, me make me vote for Tinubu. You are telling me that uh, I have him before. You know, you hire me before. You die no better. Be and go on, please. Yeah, you are very correct. I like that to English apart for you. It's not be property. But when you go to work, a workplace, an international working place, they will tell you, do you have experience? What made me vote for the for Tunubu as elder as I am? I'm telling you the cost of his CV. So this is the man I know. This man I follow. This man I see his accident is fantastic. So for me to vote for him, no regrets. This guy, this Tinubu guy, I'm sorry to say, someone marketed poison to us uh, for eight years. He sold Buhari to us. He, like, said, like he said, this is not, yes. he said this is not poison the first year. The second year, the third year, the fourth year, he gaslighted us to think this is not poison for four years. Then the next tenure, he still stood by his ag agreement that this guy, I'm still selling this poison to Nigerians. For eight years, he did that to us. Now, after eight years, now came back and I said, I am the antidote. Yes. So that, well, how does that make sense? How does that even... Now, he didn't even say, he didn't say it was going to cure. He didn't say it was going to cure what that poison has, has damaged. He said it was going to continue. Yes, and exactly. he told us, he said it. Yes. That's why I said Nigerian deserve its leader. 
And that's what he's doing. Hold on a bit. If you're enjoying the video so far, we appreciate it if you like and subscribe to the channel. We are fast approaching 100K. Help us get there. Now, let's get back to the show. Please signify if you agree with the prompt. Protest is the only way the current government would listen. Number one, um, it's, a leg it's a constitutional right. And we see all over the world how protests actually do, do ev eventually turn out, turns out um, positively, usually. I think that's the safest and logical um, means to drive to, an, to a desired goal right now, as opposed to <laughs> the, other, the other alternative is anarchy. And we already see um, an effect of this in the gearing of protests that we are experiencing right now. So the protest has not even started yet and we've already seen a lot of change, a lot of uh, reaction from God. So I think the protest is a large um, driver for positive change. So we, we've taken protests out of context, maybe because of the NSAS protest. So we, Nigerians generally, especially people that support the government, they, they think protest is synonymous to violence, which is not true. But the case in Nigeria, why protest is getting violent or is that you can't push people to the wall and tell them not to. And Nigerians are very, very understanding people. You can throw anything at them and they adapt. But once something sparks, we are hungry. You can't tell us not to shout. You can't beat a child and tell the child not to cry. So I was, I was having an argument, especially because of this uh, recent protest, was uh, protest is not the answer. Protest, dialogue, not protest. Protest is dialogue. Protest is practically dialogue. It's just like talking to your government. Uh, you back call it if uh, oh, no, oh. That's what they call protest. Show, show them, show them your mind. Show what you are feeling. That's what protest is. Can the disagreeers now speak? Protest is not the only thing. Protest is different from dialogue. Protest is violence. Black lives matter that happened in United America. They didn't dialogue with government because that situation was bad. They didn't dialogue, they didn't come to government, they said they want to protest. When they protest, you know what the former president, who is now contesting, Trump said, he said, when the looting starts, the shooting starts. That was the president of United States of America says. The answer situation started just like a little. The president then, Buhari said that uh, today, by the SARS band, the protesters did not listen. They twisted to another language. Uh, Where it must go. Yes. This must happen. This must happen. What happened to the violence uh, situation over there? That's what they call protests. I've never seen protests in anywhere in the world. Listen, today, right now, in United Kingdom, a 17 year old boy from Rwandan descent killed three children. Today, the British in United Kingdom, uh, Liverpool, uh, Southport, and everything, they are out there. Instead of fighting for the cause, so that that person, the murderer, the young boy, must be apprehended and they go to court, they are now burning tires and burning houses in the United Kingdom. This government does not need a protest. We need a, a sensible dialogue. To me, right, I didn't even think protest or dialogue is the best way to handle the issue. I think is the best way to handle the issue. No, I'm not kidding. I'm very serious. You're kidding, man. No, I'm not kidding. Our government. They are very stubborn set of people. He said dialogue, right? How can we do that? When we are doing protests, right? Sometimes we just affect ourselves, right? Not the government. You see this looting, destroying, doing different things. Is We are doing it to ourselves, not the government. I'm very sure we all agree that um, protest is our constitutional right. Mm. Yes. But at the same time, the interpretation of protest here in Nigeria, or let me just say majority of the world, um, protest, we understand protest to be violent. Or riot. Like my honorable said, the answers on protest started peacefully. Now, when the citizens now see that, oh, we are gaining attention, yeah. the whole world are behind us, yeah. people are listening to us, then the next thing is to have the president leave or to scatter him. Yeah. We, we Nigerians, we actually have no, we, we don't know how to, uh, to, to protest it peacefully. All we know is to riot, violence, doing protest. The constitution actually guides you to protest in a particular location. Not so you, you free your rights. Not you destroying that people. Or to trying to infringe shooting. the right um, of other citizens. Other citizens. Now look at what happened in Nojota, if not for the calmness of Lagos police. The government give them a location. Stay in Ghanifa with me. That is where the protests were happening. And Lagos. that's what Inubu did during the exactly. and, and it's, it's They exactly. didn't go that beyond the Nigerians listening. 
He will. Nigerians will go out of the box by destroying things, we losing are hungry. things. Yes, we we'll are do hungry. that. Yes. But you have to steal from other an Nigerians. An angry man is an angry you man. You have to steal we'll from see. other Nigerians. My name is Mayokun Alemeka. I'm a 3D developer. Anytime you mention the protest, they keep saying, yeah, protest, you see them, they're vandalizing this, vandalizing that. There's a big difference between protest and riots, okay? So riot is illegal, protest is 100% legal, and there's a reason why it's constitutionally legal. You mentioned the fact that the, the current administration will not listen to people protesting. Now, let me push this to you. Since last week, the government has been up and about. Since last week, I can point to you, there are several laws, several poli uh, policies in place now to favor you, to favor me, to favor you. Have you favored you? Yeah. Have you favor you? Are, are you saying a Have policy will favor you? me in a day? I said last week. When will you not favor us? Don't they don't understand. Last last week. Week. The 2012 protests that many people are, 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 are referring to almost turned into value before the, the, the military showed up. The trend tells you that protests in Nigeria often turn to violence. Okay, some of the things that the government uh, did between last week and this week were things that ordinarily the government planned to do. Mm? <laughs> I will give you an instance. Number one, the 70,000 Naira minimum wage. Do you want to tell me it's because of the protest? Oh, they plan to do that. The before. 110 billion by Minister of Youth. Is it because of the protest? The, um, uh, uh, there's this one, um, credit... Student, student loan. Yeah, the credit student loan. Credit facilities. Because of the protest. My name is Lekon Yusuf. I'm an accountant by profession. I'm a patriot. I love my country. Outside Nigeria, there have been protests that the world have seen to be violent. In the United States of America, coming down to Africa, we saw that of Kenya. We saw that of Uganda. We saw what happened in Tunisia. We saw what happened in Sudan. All of these things, when you put them together, no sane person will want same to happen to a country, especially when you hold that country in high esteem. We have internet now. We have social media. We have all of these things that we can use to call out the government, and the government will certainly listen to them. So if we, if, if we decide... needs to change the constitutional government. Protest is dialogue. It, protest is actually that. So, uh, what's it called? Show the, me the, labor, has never the, been the Labor violent. Congress. They labor Congress. Labor Congress. When Labor Congress went... So, when, when they went on strike, would we... Is that, is that a form of protest or not? It's a protest. That's what I'm saying. Strike. Onga tagging our officials, tagging our officials online. Those are protests. Those are forms. We, we don't have to look at just the violence. The reason why Nigeria is getting, Nigerians are getting, getting this wrong. violence. Uh -huh. The reason we are getting this violence is because we are very, very tired. Using your example, um, the NSAS protest, we protested NSAS. Now, they in quote banned SARS, which they reinstated a few weeks after. They in quote what? They banned SARS, ban yes. SARS. They banned SARS. Immediately. Yes, but they reinstated anyways, but but, but let me just say, can you, can you the give that now, it was reinstated? let me finish, let me finish. You were making the argument that the, the, uh, the protest changed to uh, Buhari must go. Yes. Constitutionally, is that illegal? It's illegal. It's not. It's illegal. It's not. Where did you get your constitution from? So if you feel a president is not um, serving the interests of the populace, there is a right to protest. You can actually protest him out, like protest, mount pressure on the legislation to impeach the president, which is, legis which is constitutionally um, legal. You said um, Buhari must go is illegal, right? Yes, it is illegal. Punishable under what law? Anything, right, that is illegal has a backing, yeah. either constitutionally or by any yeah. law, right? You are going to tell me the constitution or the place, what stated did that, saying a leader must go. We have the right to vote, right? And when we are tired of a particular government, that's why you even hear something like impeaching a leader. Basically, it's not illegal to protest the removal of a president, but realistically, uh, ideally, I feel uh, it is only right for us to go through the right channels rather than causing chaos and causing riots in form of protest. And now wait. Now for protest, we have the constitutional right to, to protest, to air our opinion. Section 44 of the Constitution says... Are you like, I cannot browse it. Are yes, you like, yeah. browse it. Section 44 of the Constitution says that we have right for opinion to like air our opinion. Wait. Now, if the government, as you guys claim, the pro bat right, are doing well, why are they scared of the protest? Nobody Why are they infringing our rights to protest? The word protest, the word agitation, you understand? 
nobody, a sitting person in the MO of affairs will allow even one person to use the word, I want to protest. Let me give you one sample that happened in uh, Honduras. One man came out saying he want to protest that uh, the nation is not going very well. He used the word immolation. He burned himself to death to signify that uh, the nation is not going very well. In the state or in the country, three people who also came out said that uh, they want to do the same thing. The word protest is not that it's not allowed constitutionally, but what is going to turn Violent. The, at the end of the day, it's what you don't know. It's what I don't know. If somebody is protesting in England today, police will surround the, the entire pro, pro, protesters. To protect them. They, they, do, they, do they, hang on, hang on, don't use the word protect. You've never seen it, you've never seen it before. I will use the word protect, I will tell you after. But why do they, why, why do they uh, condone their protests? Why do the police have to come out to barricade what, where they are? So it won't because, turn violence. Thank you, my brother. Because they, won't, they know that the human being, we are just like animal. But our police can't do that. I'm gone. We are growing. Please. Don't. don't. Growing what? You see? But you they see? can put tear see? gas. Good. Protest does not come with a good result. So please, I'm not saying that uh, it's not your concern, right? But the end result is my problem. Governor Tunu, uh, President Tunungu did not say you should not protest. He's saying that uh, when you want to protest, confine yourself into a place, protest, and let the world Hear your view. So there's hardship in the country. Everybody knows there's hardship. Everybody's actually feeling the hardship in the country. Then some group of people say they want to protest and make this hardship, make their grievances known. Some other Nigerians came out to protest against the protesters. Make it make sense. Well, Nigerians do deserve their leaders. The supporters of the current administration are mostly tribalistic. Those who are supposing but right are very, very tribalistic. One of the things this current government have used to weaponize us is tribe, poverty, and religion. And sorry, I'm not trying to be biased here, but this, the Yorubas are always in the forefront to betray other people. You see what happened during our election, last election here in Lagos, where they were telling the Igbo, go back. If you want to vote for Obi, go mm. back to your land and go and vote mm. for Obi. Now you see what is happening. We are talking about protests, how to make our nation better. Yorubas have come up with their own protests that on the 29th and on the 30th of August, it will be Igbo must go. Is that not tribalistic act? Now we have the right as a citizen to live in any part of Nigeria, any part without restriction and anything. So if it's not tribalistic act, tell me why we are focusing on how to make our nation better. And the Yorubas are busy saying Ibo must go. All probas that I've seen or that I've encountered, they are mostly Yoruba. They literally, the only, not that there's any, any better reason. The only reason why they try to call, sway me to, to try to sway me to their side is that um, Tinubu is a Yoruba person. Exactly. I mean, how does that make how sense? How does that make sense? Especially in the Southwest, yeah, that, that's like the major campaign um, strategy. Um, uh, strategy, mantra. yeah, mantra. Like, okay, uh, Tinubu is a Yoruba person, so that, that's why you should vote him. In the north, they were they were using the religious t uh, card, yeah, right? Exactly. So they're using, Muslim, Muslim. they're using the religious card that okay, Tinubu is Muslim, so voting because it's Muslim. But in the west, yeah, the majorly major reason was Tinubu was was a. So I think um, that's I, that's why I strongly agree with the prompt. During the election, I was with majorly my my mom and some elderly elderly Yoruba people. I I am a Yoruba boy, but I have a neutral mind. During the election, most of most of these elderly Yoruba people were about Yorubani, Omo Yorubani, Omo Wani. Tinubu himself incited that in them. Because the first clip of him when he went to Ogun State was Emilo Kong. He said, he said, he said you, see, you, see, you, see, you see what? He said he's a political genius. But me, to me, I think he's a political manipulator. But after the civil war and all of that, we are trying to unite ourselves as a country. We are trying to come in, come in as one, to foster unity among ourselves. A presidential candidate, which everybody has respect for in the nation, I came out, and the first press conference it would make is that Yoruba Loko. Benny, sagacity. Would that, would that not destroy the whole essence of the unity? That was, that was my first, that was the first, that was the first encounter I had with him. Yoruba is a, we, we follow our tribe in laws. They're like, ah, because I don't teach you that, I would know what. I was even trying to convince them that, hey, Jekka, let's, let's hear these people on a neutral ground. 
Let's hear what they have to say. Tinubu didn't say, he didn't say anything sensible to oh, me no. throughout his campaign. Let's just hear these people like, okay, let's imagine Peter Obi or Atiku was also Yoruba. Let's imagine we had just one tribe in Nigeria. I could understand the tribalistic uh, view of the elderly people, but the most painful part is the young people. If you, if you had told me as a, as a Tinubu supporter that you voted him because he did this, 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 and this in Lagos, I would, I would have been okay. But some young people were like, he's Yoruba, uh, he's, he's, he's a master politician. How does that make sense? In, tw in 2023, in during the uh, election, I had, I had someone call me, not just one person, call me a bastard Yoruba boy, because I said we should at least hear the opinion of all parties without putting in tribal sentiments. Can the disagreeers now speak? Now, let's look at the last election. Peter Obi, Atiku, and Tinumbu. Yes. Can you say either Peter Obi, either Tinumbu, Atiku, Chowore, or Kwankaso win any of the South states? None of them. It was Peter Obi they all voted for. The tribal cards in our politics, we can't take we that can. away. We can't take it away. Religious cards in our should politics, it, should we it can't be take so? that away. Should it be should so? It be so? It should it be so? So basically, I feel the, tri uh, the tribal issue or the religious issue will still continue, no matter what you try to do, no matter how you try to convince us. Because you can't leave me now to say, okay, I have an elder brother, and I didn't even vote for Tinubu because of that. But then let me just play the, the tribal uh, cards here. Now, my elder brother is contesting. Not like it's not credible. Because the case of Tinubu, Tinubu is Yoruba, a credible candidate. At yeah. In that same election, we had Shogure. Shogure is also Yoruba. I didn't vote for Shogure. Yes. Shogure graduated from my school. I didn't vote for him. Um, Kwankwa, so even in the North, we have people that voted Tinubu and we have people that voted um, uh, for Peter Obi. So what can you say about those people? They didn't vote for Tinubu. Peter Obi uh, was on, on a uh, phone conversation with uh, Bishop Oyedepo or so. Mm. Now, if you listen to that conversation from A to Z, mm. the man was preaching religion, he preached tribal. That's his Peter Obi. Everything just to try and convince people. Uh, the, the man was preaching to a Yoruba person, but he said, please, daddy, tell these people to vote for me. I'm a Christian. Did you, did you listen, did you hear any of their campaign, campaign, uh, election, election debates? Did, did you watch? I did, I followed. What was Tinubu's manifesto that got you, that caught you? Yes. No, 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 don't worry about that Tinubu manifesto. We are not, we are not in that line now. The geographical spread of the election results shows that uh, the man, Yoruba, Emilio Koman, in Lagos State, lost his base to the, the highest tribalistic person of Peter Obi. Yes. If we are tribalistic, mm. if we are so highly tribalistic, mm. the man of the man from Lagos State, the presidential candidate of APC in Lagos State, lost his base to an Igbo man. They did it on papers. Please, 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 please. Let's 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 talk in senses. Order to ring the let's, let's talk to our senses. In Southeast, the social media brought a man who campaign that uh, if anybody votes yes. for Ashwaju APC in South Sudan, that person will die. Who said that? Who was the person? You, 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 can't, you, can't, you can't see all. You can't see all. Please, let me go. Let me go. If I'm lying here, posterity will judge me that that person will bury their life. Do you ever hear Tinumbu say that uh, if you voted or if you vote, Peter will be or... They said Congress. it. Can you wait, say you, can you? Can you please Sorry, let, let him finish. I'm telling you, history. You are interjecting. He, have you ever heard Tinumbu says that uh, if any one of you or any supporter of President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, the current president, says in the social media that uh, anybody that voted will be, will be buried alive in Lagos State or anywhere next year. I'm question. gone, I'm gone. Yeah. You say your own. I'm only saying it. So, I was so tribalistic. I want to tell you, my sister. Don't continue to hallucinate that uh, Obi won the election. Obi won. Okay. Obi said yesterday. I, said, I just said don't that continue to hallucinate Obi won. Because it's going to worry you a lot. Politically, you let's move forward. Look at the statement of Trump's against Kamala Harris. Say that I don't know if he's black or he's an Indian and everything. I believe he's black. Yeah. If you talk about tribal, it play roles in politics. Yeah. Why did uh, Peter Obi won in Lagos? Because most of the Igbos 
who are traders, who are artisans, some of them cannot even read. They don't come to Lagos to read, they, they, not to not to education, but to trade and trade and trade. And the entire Lagos state accepted them. They have financial capacity and they spread the entire financial capacity mm -hmm. to win the election. Is it not tribal? Tunumbu said that a miloko. Because the man got. What is a miloko? A miloko is his ambiness. It's our He actually said. Listen to me, don't say our. Don't use word our. Yes, he, he said it. He said our loco. He said you go back. No, a miloko. He said it. For his brother, I mean, Tunumbu never used that word. Hmm? On the, on the, I mean, listen to me now. Let me land now. You say, mm, mm, on the, on the, on the, on just flat like that. During the primary, everybody has submitted. Everybody has submitted. There was a rumor running around that the uh, former president, Buhari, will not support Tinubu and he will nominate another Northerners, okay. which is Ahmed Lawa. Okay. When the story got to Bola Tinubu, Bola Tinubu used those statements. He said that uh, even when Buhari himself lost election four times, he cried. He cried. He came to him. And he came to him. They said, Ma, Sukuma, don't cry. I'm a BDP. We will support you and we will I'm political sagacity of Bola Bola Tinubu. Probably Buhari told the presidency, number one. Number two, he now know that uh, at the end of the day, there's a political game that is going on. They want to twist his uh, ambition and they want to flat, flat him down. He, when he get that story, he went to the platform because on the, on the podium. He said that uh, this is what happened. This is what happened. This is the story before President Buhari became president. But today, I have been campaigning. I have submitted my ambition and then my certificate to campaign. But they want to turn me down. Let me tell you, when the not finish, it is time for Yoruba because remember, Jonathan just finished. Jonathan is also part of South 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 East. Yoruba no come. Yoruba to the Konye. I mean, Yoruba no. He has the sagacity politically to say that. Right. Nobody so, can say that behind the Sorry, sorry. Election. For you to get what you want, you have to play your card. All cards. You have to play all cards. Like he said, you don't, you don't have to close your, your mouth. You have, to, you have to speak whatever that you know can, can give you. And that is the, the uh, Yes Daddy video that you're talking about. All of them play the cards. Play the cards. Now, one thing I want you to know is that you have to leave politics to the politicians. That Emilio you know, Con statement is to the politicians. You and I that are not politicians should not speak that statement. So it's a high level of politics, like he said. It's a high level of sagacity. I put it, audacity. As a proposed leader, of the next uh, tenure, is that right to use tribe? Is, do you think? No, no, no. It's a question. Do you Politics. think it is right? Everywhere you want. I've never seen a country where issue of tribe. It's a question. Has never been used in India. In India. In India. India. In India. Modi. 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 Modi, 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 Modi using the religious as a Hindu to become president of the so prime minister of, the of, of India. Politics. You cross a T and dot your eye. Never give any little chance to your opponents. Yoruba will say, Ile Latin ko Eshorode, that before you go to war, you have to gather your emissary. Let them support you. If you are not good at home, how do you go to war outside? Then somebody's going to finish you. And that's what I said, it's part of the game. I find it very, very crazy. And it gets me angry because this politics you say this man is playing actually involves the lives of about 250 million people. 365 days times four. It's not, it's not a joke. This is even under one year, the whole thing has scattered. To me personally, it is the wrong move. No problem. Because it incites, counts. we are trying to unite our nation here. Yeah. We are inciting people against each other, playing the tribal card. Yeah. Is it right or wrong? It's a right it, or it, wrong it's question. It's right. It's right. Yes. Okay, so what I'm saying is that tribal card he played. It's part of politics. It is. I've heard. Thank that tribal much. card he played incited, incited. Not, especially older people, incited. older Yoruba people. <laughs> yes, it did now. No, it, it actually no, pushed. It so that, yeah. that became the slogan. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. became. The major, are, missing, that became the major are, slogan you, you, of that campaign. You, you, Our look, if you see any of their cap, any of their campaign material, of their merchandise, yes. it was Emilio Kong, yes. Emilio Kong that was on it. Because that was the message. It, and this is a country we are trying to, we are trying to, to sell ourselves unite. as one. Yeah. In my own polling units, in my own polling units, they, they, they beat anybody that looks evil. And you think that if was, you look, that, if you look evil, who cost, who cost it? No, no, you think Tini that was because of what he Because of what he has said, because uh, of the campaign's uh, program. You say, you? Yes, no, that is it now. In my local government, we have three councillors. Jude Aspiogu is not your Obama. Solomon Binigay is not your Obama boy. Ezekiel 
something like that. I won't bring you because the long long. It's not your department. They are counselor in Lagos, mainland local government. All right. We have other tribes too, like Egun and everything. Tell me in Igbo land, any. No, we should. I'm we don't gone have now. What is what is always wrong? What is always wrong? As a nation, as a nation, why don't you do this thing again? Why don't you come down? This is 2024. Why don't you come down? Igbo man, we who won uh, assembly at a uh, jaw. You see a jaw. I just go there. There's a no show demand. From a, an able man from a show, who won election, you understand? So if that is competence and everything, I agree with you. And that is your part for you. Yes. That's yes. our sense for you. Normal, but normal. now go to Enugu. There's no Yoruba man in Enugu. There's no Hausa man in uh, Yanambra. There's no Anambra man in uh, Did they Ebony. contest? I'm gone, I'm gone. They, will, they cannot even try to contest. Okay. That's what I'm they saying. Don't, they, they, don't not, bond, they don't bond them to contest. contest. So what are you talking about? Yoruba man is the best people in Nigeria today who believe in your competency and you live after the civil, civil war. Civil. When the Igbo start rushing down to Lagos and the Southwest, you know, we call them, we call them one language, Inna. Some of them, we don't know their names when, they, when we were young. I don't know what is the meaning of Inna. Brother, Inna. Oh, I say brother, I like the word brother. I don't know if you understand. They, we call them Inna to tell you you bad set them. When, you, when they go to the north, they call them Yemini. What is the meaning of Yemini? That's give me water. During the war, many of the Igbo that went to hiding and everything, they were starved. When they see Nigerian soldier, the language they always say is like Yemini, Yemini, Yemini. But in Yoruba land, we don't use that word because we know that word is derogating. Fixing any economy takes time. There's a saying, Rome was not built in a day. Okay, so it's understandable that it takes time. However, I think it's relative, right? Um, you could take 100 years to build a, a superpower or you could take 30 years just like China did. However, the process does not necessarily have to be this painful. However, it, it, I understand that it takes time. Fixing economy takes a long time. I even use the word long time. Okay. Let me give you one scenario that I read a long time ago. Japan, to become an industrial nation, Japan quarantined their nation. They didn't sell out, they didn't buy to make sure that the economy of Japan became one of the greatest economies oh, in the world. Yes. I tell you that China use, use this one word, no pain, no gains. There's no hardship in Nigeria. We are going through difficulties. Yes. Yes. Economically, the COVID, we are going to do Do you know what happened to Nigerians? Every Nigerian wants to be the richest man. Even somebody who did not even, they had never till the ground, want to be a billionaire. Why is it that killing for sacrifice? What do you call it? Ritual killing. Ritual killings. Why did the boom in Nigeria among the youth? I passed through the youth, youthful age. Yes. I don't yes. understand the word ritual killings. The second one is this. Today, all our young men believe in Yahoo. Economy to grow in this nation need hard work. Rome wasn't built in a day, but it's more important to take note of those that are building Rome. Yeah, right. If one person is taking 20 steps forward and pass the baton to the next person, and the next person that they pass the baton to next person. is running backwards, mm. nothing progressive would actually happen. You're very, yeah, very correct. In the terms of this country as it is, mm. the people that is building our own Rome they don't have, they don't even want to build. Your, your truth, truth be told, when PDP was in government, the APC gave them a tough time. Mm. Why didn't you do this? Why are you not doing this? Why are you not doing this? Now, APC has taken over for, let's say, these nine years now. Yes, you're right. The same excuse that the PDP was giving us then, mm. or same excuse they are giving us. I had an APC recently collected a loan of, I think, $2 billion, $2 billion or something to repay back with 35000 uh is it barrel? That's right. That's right. They sold everything. Now. They sold like everything. Like all our hoes. Everything. From six, mi from, six million, from six million barrel per day, yeah, we are moving to one point something. Like inflation is at 30 something, 30 something, 38 no, or 32. No, you're talking about growth. Building actually has to be forward. It takes a long time. Yeah, I know. But it needs to be in progression. That's right. I like that. You may not like the builder, but to me, the builder, President Balatunumbu, is one of the best. Come on. Uh, so for <laughs> me, know, let, just say, okay, let me outline some policy in place now. If you look at what the President Tinubu is now doing, Nigeria before now, we are known globally to be a borrowing country. But today now, have we stopped? Now have... No, we have not stopped. Yes, now it, it has stopped. Oh. We are still borrowing. For every government policy, you don't just wake up and begin to implement policy. It begins with processes, okay? Part of the processes are consultation. There's what they call pilot tests. You need to get some sort of 
certainty that this policy is going to work. You need some conviction. And the president or whoever at the end of affairs would need experts to tell him, to convince him that this particular policy is going to work. Let me take an instance, the fiscal policy that the government uh, put in the hands of um, Taiwo Yedele talking about tax. The guy is coming up with something very soon. The issue of one of the demands of these um, 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 protesters that they want government to cut cost of governance. There's a, there's, a, there's a fiscal policy, I mean, fiscal governance that the government is going to come up with now that will, that will, that will cut some of the spendings of these government officials. So all of these things um, cannot just be done just one day. They need steps. Some people are saying that, eh, eh, one year. The guy has actually done so many things. We need this one year. And the remaining three years, I want to bet you, the guy, I mean, the president is going to do some other things that would, that would, that would entice Nigerians. I will make you to even give him the second time slot. Can they disagree now speak? Why I disagree with that is that in our country, Nigeria, we have been waiting for our own economy to grow, but it's not growing. I feel like the government have the power to make our economy grow if they want Faster. it. Faster. Now, you see, when we, start, we came up with our protests and everything, then I started saying, eh, bag of rice, we'll reduce it to 40,000. This one will happen, they this one. Reduce it. Well, I agree with the pump that it takes time, right? I don't, be, I don't believe that it needs to be this, this difficult, right? This, long. But this is just one year in office, and we are seeing a lot of negative effects. Let's even forget about the controversy of how he got in power. Let's forget about the controversy of whether he's tribalistic or whatever. Let's ask, okay, he's already in power. Fine, he's our president. He's my commander-in-chief, right? The effect of that uh, position is what I'm worried about now. More than five multinational giants leave the country, exit the country. That's countless amount of jobs that's, that's gone down the drain. That's one. I need to say that I agree with two major policies, which is the monetary policy floating the, floating the Naira, right? And I also agree with the removal of full subsidy. I don't agree with the means or the execution of, sorry, the, of, the, of sorry, that. Can I you could have at least point. eased it out or there were better means of how of executing those major to, to listen. That, those are things that I disagree with. I want Nigerians to know that we still pay for a subsidy. He removed, he removed this for a subsidy. Yeah. It was loud. But when he started paying it back, yeah, 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 almost yeah. no one knew. And the price of fuel still remained the same. Nigeria pays about 4 billion naira every month on fuel subsidy. We still pay till today. Because people believe that he has removed the subsidy, that this government is not paying any subsidy on fuel again and all of that. But the fuel price is still at seven. So what, are, what corruption are we trying to fight that we are not now talking now? 2012, when Jonathan did. Jonathan came out, did the same. Told you guys, this, we can't sustain this thing. He removed it. The old nation river. This current administration was at the forefront of that protest that, no, you, are, I you think, have to- I think you are talking politically. No, I'm not talking politically. He was at the forefront. Nigerians are, we are, we are going through a lot already. And transport is like one of the major, major hub of any economy. So if you are not subsidizing ordinary transportation for us, how then do you expect us to be productive? How do we go to work buying for of 700 and earning a uh, minimum wage of 30K? Paying subsidy would prompt corruption. Removing it would also prompt corruption. There's corruption in the country. The system already is corrupt. But for the benefits of the people, it's better we subsidize it. For the growth of the economy, it's better you subsidize this thing. Nigerians are complaining about the economic hardship. But to me, I say there's no economic hardship, but uh, some difficulties we are encountering a nation. What we need to do is to believe in the current president, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, who is taking a step and a giant step to revive the economy. And I want the youth of this nation to believe in step and copy a leader who knows how to do that. We might got very misplaced leaders long, long time ago, but in President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu is a man who takes good by the horn, who see the genuity in Nigerian resources and then want to tap it one after the other and so that we can grow the economy. My final word is um, me appealing to our president, Bola Tinibu, to make life easy for the common man. We are suffering, we are hungry, we are going through difficulties in Nigeria. He should make life easy for we, the citizen, and to the Yorubas. The Yorubas should stop being tribalistic and um, leave the Igbo people alone. Let 
peace reign in Nigeria. Let's unite. We've come to the end of today's show. I hope we've been able to understand both parties a little bit more. Ah, All right. Yeah. Lovely conversation. Yeah. 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 Yeah.